As with most things, love is both a blessing and a trial from Allah. Sometimes the emotion may become so overwhelming that it can blind us to everything else. And so today I tell you the story of Abdullah and Atika. Abdullah and Atika were a married couple from the time of the Sahaba and their love was famous in Medina. People would often say that they wished that their marriage was like the marriage of Abdullah and Atika. They would write poetry for each other, they were always by each other's sides. However, an obsession with love isn't always a good thing. Abdullah was consumed by his love for Atika, so much so that he began to fall below the caliber expected of somebody from amongst the Sahaba. It got to a point that he would sometimes miss Nawafil prayer, he would sometimes not attend congregational prayer, and even on one occasion he didn't attend military duty, and this was the final straw. Abdullah's father, recognizing that this love, this obsession, was becoming an issue for his son's deen, ordered that Abdullah divorce Atika. Abdullah obeyed his father as much as he didn't want to. He knew that his father was right. And after the divorce, Abdullah returned to military duty, returned to the congregational prayer, and reclaimed his lost piety. However, that did not ease the heartache. And Abdullah would constantly recite these words of poetry, saying, O Atika, I shall not forget you so long as the sun rises in the sky and the stars shine in the night, because I could not see that a man like me would be separated from a woman like you, nor that a woman such as you should ever be left behind. His father, seeing the pain Abdullah was going through, came to him one day and said, Oh my son, I see your pain, and if you promise me that you shall never fall short in your Islam, go back to her. And so the two were together again. However, this time they knew that love of Allah and his messenger comes before the love they had for each other. But who were Abdullah and Atika? This was Abdullah, the son of Abu Bakr as siddiq and Atika, the daughter of Zayd, the one who the Prophet said would stand on the Day of Judgment as a nation by himself.